What is up, guys? Genesis SOC here. Today we've got another Chivalry Medieval Warfare match on the map Battlegrounds. I'm going to be using uh, the Broadsword and Kite Shield on the attacking team, of course. Now this is what I would like to call the worst map in the game. By far, it is the hardest map to attack on. It is so difficult to get anything done, and it's the best map for archers. So all of those things combined make it the worst map in my opinion. But I do love how I do love the graphics here. It's a very good-looking map, and it feels very iconic to medieval warfare. So getting the granary, you have to you have to burn the granary, and you have to burn the marketplace, and then you have to burn these two wheat fields. The granary is the easiest thing to defend, so it's the hardest one to attack. It's the most important to get first, and the reason it's so hard to attack is because the the defense actually spawn out out of the granary. That they, they spawn inside the granary, and then they 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 plop down on top of you when you're there. So I'm going to talk about the broadsword for a bit. The broadsword is is much faster than the longsword, but it is a little bit. Uh, weaker, has a little bit less damage, and it has uh, not as much reach, but it is still the longest reaching one-handed sword, or one-handed weapon that the, the knight has. I really like it, I think it's, I, li I like the way it looks. It's not as good as uh, the, the Norse sword, it's like a, it, the Norse sword is basically like a better version of it in pretty much every way, except in range, but uh, I've always been a huge fan of the broadsword, I think it's, it's just got a good, perfect, or good combination of damage, speed, and reach. But uh, it did get a slight damage nerf a few patches ago. This was mostly because Man and Arms were so strong with it, and it was it was very very good on them. They could they could get incredible reach and damage and speed with it, so they had to nerf it a bit. But anyway, I still love it. I still love to use it, and I think it's just a, a really good secondary for knights overall. The Norse is by far the best secondary, especially when you're trying to hit trade Man and Arms. But um, you can still get the job done with the broadsword in, in a lot of cases. You can make it work pretty well. It is going to fail you in the V2+. Plus. Yes. Unfortunately, I, uh, I did not position myself correctly after killing that knight. I should have backed off towards, or backed off away from those two vanguards. I got a little bit too cocky and aggressive there. But it, it will, you will struggle with this weapon in V2+, plus, especially if you have a shield up when you sacrifice those reposts. It can be a bit of a, a, a difficult battle for you to win. There's multiple enemies because it takes you so many hits to kill them. But as you can see, I love employing those combo stabs. When you use a shield, it's very easy to get through or get past a lot of people's blocks. I'm going to go ahead and respawn. I don't want to deal with trying to fight all those archers and I'm already low health from being shot by them. So the second objective is we got to push this card all, all the way to that, uh, that gatehouse, all the way over there across the map. And we gotta blow it open with the bomb inside the cart. Uh, it is very difficult to get your cart past 70%. Once you get about 70% through, uh, you start dealing with both of the uh, Mason spawns, and, and Agatha has to run so far to catch back up that it just becomes impossible to, uh, to win unless you get a really good group and can go as a team. And, and then also, not only do you have to go as a team, but you have to. Uh, you have to deal with the, the, the respawns as well from, from the defense. I put my shield on the back there for a second to try to deal with those archers a little bit easier. But now I've got three of them on me. I don't think I'm going to come out of here alive, so I'm just going to try to do as much damage as I can. If that uh, Vanguard did not parry me there, he would have died, and I probably could have gotten the rest of them. But uh, maybe I should have been just a tad more patient on that swing. Instead of reposting, I should have waited for him to panic carry and then punish him. But it's a lot, there's a lot of risk involved with that as well with the other two vanguards constantly applying pressure on me it's just not a not a very good fight for me to get into but i did my best to save my teammates but i should have put up my shield there i'm not getting that time i'm gonna deal with this knight like i said sometimes just putting up your shield is the best the best thing you can do in a team fight, to because uh, that that way you're preventing yourself and other people getting TK by blocking your teammates' swings. But it's just that you're still allowing your teammates to hit the enemy with uh, less fear of, of TKing someone, so that, that gives them more room to work with. It can be very good. How my stab did not get him both of those times? I don't know how he parried that. That was 
That is a bullcrap parry if I've ever seen in my life. That's definitely a lag issue. I was not expecting that, that uh, man arch to be able to dodge past me there and get behind me. So I took a swing at him. You gotta be really careful when you're fighting man arms on any job, but especially as a as a as a knight. You gotta be very patient and let them screw up. Because if you tr you can't force an opportunity on them and you can't force a hit trade, you just have to wait for them to screw up and then punish them and say. And if they don't ever screw up then you just you sit there and you be patient until they do. And if they never screw up then you just you do you lose. <laughs> you wait until your teammates come and deal with them or you, you die because their teammates come and deal with you. And it's usually the other way around, especially if you're on the attacking team. The Masons actually spawn right around where that trebuchet is over there to my right. Right over there. And then they spawn another one at the other trebuchet on the left over there. And as you can see, it's literally a choke point for us to have to push the past and get through. It can be very difficult to do, but we may be able to do it this game, we'll see. I'm going to see if I can slow down some of the spawn and just keep their eyes on me over here. And uh, see if I can bottle them up here to get some good pressure on. Just slow them down from reaching my team. Uh, two of them got past me, but I got this guy at least. Fortunately, in this game, fighting downhill is a significant disadvantage in like, real life when you typically want to be on the, the upper hill. Explain why in seconds. We've got a good group here. We may be able to get it with just this one push if we can just keep this up. And, uh, let's, let's see if I can get this archer. He's going to be a problem. we got multiple archers now. Somehow he went through my shield. Still got to reach those archers though. They're still going to be a pretty big threat for me to have to deal with. Unfortunately, I got caught on that little wooden post to my right and he was able to hit trade me with that second one. I was not expecting him to just keep on being aggressive. But it's a, it's a smart move because he knows I can't one-shot him. Oh, fortunately, our, our, our catapult TK2 was there. So that's probably going to stabilize the defense, and they're going to start swarming around in it and, and, and uh, stacking on top of it while we're all going to have to spend a long time running back and getting to a decent position. We might, we might not be able to get it now just from that one play. But yeah, the, the archer was just not scared because I can't one-shot him with the broadsword, but I was one hit from death because he was on hitting the team there on accident. I apologize in a second. And since I can't one-shot him, and he knew that, and I was already wounded from taking those archer shots, he just he just played the, the speed advantage and just kept spamming. He had no fear. So I should have been more patient. It's hard to be patient in those kind of scenarios when you've got so many things to do. A lot of damage there. I thought it did an alt swing, but it, it never came out, so I ended up just spinning my camera like an idiot. It's okay though. Oh, thank goodness I heard that Vanguard in time to put my shield up. Fortunately, I lost him. He likes to run around in circles, and it can be a little bit difficult to uh, keep track of people when you have my field of view. It's only at 120. Most people play on a, a little bit higher. You can go into the console settings and make it higher manually if you want to, but uh, I like to keep it 120. I think it's just the most fair and, and well balanced. So I'm okay with playing with that a little minor disadvantage. I just gotta I just gotta play a little bit better. I can usually keep my enemies in my field of view pretty well. I just uh, I think I screwed up a bit there. So we're gonna keep on pushing our way straight down the center. But I don't you know, we got one more we got a few up here so I'm gonna see if I can help them out. Unfortunately, there's an archer behind me already. You always want to keep the enemies on the defensive. Impossible. Oh man, I did not expect that vanguard to be my, that enemy being an enemy vanguard that wasn't a man. I gotta get some health and stamina, but maybe I can uh, help out a bit in the meantime. Thankfully, I, I could tell his pattern, he was just gonna keep on attacking. This guy was positioning it. I could tell by the way he was, his footwork was going, he was gonna attack as soon as I got close. But thankfully, we may be able to get this here. If I could just get up on the objective, we can keep on pushing it. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna sit here and hold my shield out and try to hold back the Masons as much as I can while we get it. We were able to get it with one good push. That was a very quick match. I've never. It's very rare that I that I get to see a, an attacking team be able to push so well and so quickly. 
maybe there's a good chance maybe we got too many higher. Yeah, looking at the team here, uh, our team was a lot, had a lot more higher ranks than the enemy team. But there you go. That's that's a battlefield. Thankfully, it went really well and smoothly in our favor. And, and uh, as you can see, the broadsword and collection can still be pretty effective. You just have to be really patient and when and how you use it. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll uh, catch you in the next one.